Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at automation of Sorted 3 with your iPad because we all have stuff that repeats all the time and who wants to repeat or make a mistake entering stuff? Not I, not I. Buckle up. So here's Sorted 3. Dark theme is a little hard I think for the screencast. So let's grab themes and go to light. It's a little easier to see for the screencast. So Sorted 3 is interesting because it really takes your calendar. You can see I had a coaching session earlier today and I'm doing client work. Rather, I'm letting a huge import go um, for client work. Um, it also does more typical task manager stuff, right? You can see some of my upcoming stuff, Sorted 3 review coming up. Automating Sorted 3, uh, Devon Things Edelcast and template, time blocking, stuff like that. So what we want though is, right, so for these, here's one that I did earlier today. We're having some bugs in it, so that's not good for Sorted 3. But let's look at it again. Bring it back up. Sorted 3 lists. Okay, so now all of this right here, um, I need all of these tasks in each video project. And to remember to do all of them and to date them properly is a pain in the butt. I don't want to do that. So let's create a new task or new thing. So one of the issues with um, automating sort of three is that there is no way to create a new list, which is what they call this. So I have to start by creating my new list and let's call it test video automation project. So I've got that. I'm going to enter it. I'm just going to copy and paste. I'm going to copy and I'm going to hit done. And now let's go over to shortcuts. I'll just cut out of this one. This is one I did earlier for the Devon thing Zettelcaster. I'm going to go to sorted. So for the sorted video project, I will show this to you in a minute. So the first thing we're going to do is project name, because it can actually add tasks to a list or to a project. So I'm going to paste in my project name. And I'm going to go set recording date. Okay, when do I want to record this? And I'm going to say specific date. And I'm just going to say tomorrow for fun. There you go. Now we're seeing one another problem here. When are you working on the video? Let's just say Friday for fun. Now we're going to do a bunch of this flipping back and forth. I believe this is actually fixed in iPadOS 14, so you don't have to do this back and forth, back and forth stuff. We'll see. Now, one of the things that Sorted 3 does is it has, um, it only interfaces with X callback URLs. So we're actually calling a URL into the app every time, calling the app and then returning to um, shortcuts. And then when do I want the video published? And uh, I'm going to go specific date and we'll just call it July 19. I don't actually know if that's a video day. But that's what I'll just put it here. So now we're done. And what I have here in sorted is test video automation project. I can say when I record the video all the way down to right scheduled on July 19th. Uh, it's monetized and all my tasks are there. This is, I think, an important part of any task manager you have is learning how to do the automation on it so that you can not miss stuff. Now let's take a look at how the shortcut is built. So one thing you need to do is use a liberal use of comments, right? So record video. And then you see I have my alert to set recording date. And then I actually ask myself for the date and I ask each time. And then you need to format the date properly according to their documentation. Let's bring up their documentation. Guides. So in their guides, you can go to URL schemes. We actually have all the URL schemes that are available from the app, right? We can open uh, a task. We can uh, open by it on a specific day. We can uh, open dates, much stuff we can do there. But add is the one that we're really going to use a lot. All right? You can see I can add a title, a type of type or the task or event, the date, the time, duration, and task only. I can also name the list that I want it on. And that's the important parts. So what we do in our automation is even actually missed here. When you do the project name, you have to do percent twenty or URL encode it. And so there is a URL encode, right? You type encode, URL encode, and that's what I need to do um, to the provided input of the project title so that it works properly. 
And then we basically go through and repeat a whole bunch of X callback URLs, right? You can see sorted X callback URL, add title, record percent 20 video, percent 20 being a space, type task, date is the formatted date. Um, and in fact, I really should go like this and click that and rename it to recording date, just to make it easier to read for later. Done, recorded date, a recording day. Uh, and then we have the project name gets in here, which I renamed from this variable up here. And then we kind of repeat it, right? We do our setup, our post task, when we're gonna work on the post and video, because we usually do those on the same day, we go through the same idea of like that date block, where I ask myself for the date and then I format the date properly. And I go through a whole bunch of X callback URL right here, add screenshots, mm, add thumb, this is to the post, right? Add, um, or YouTube embed, because I have missed them recently. Uh, right here, right? What is this one? Add title tags. Did I tag it on my post? Uh, categories, did I do that? Right? And then we get into my YouTube tasks. Again, use liberal comments when you're doing shortcuts. Uh, YouTube thumbnail. I just did all these capital YT, so I had them, right? YouTube thumbnail, YouTube end screen, uh, YouTube cards if I need any, um, the description, and everything for it. And then when should the video publish? Just the final one we're doing a callback URL. And I create the schedule item at the end here. Uh, I didn't actually go to the end, but the schedule item right here, just so that I know when I want to schedule the post as I'm making it. That way I don't have to like go back into any other thing and look it up. That's it. That's how we did some automation in Sorted 3 uh, with shortcuts. If you liked the video, you can give me a thumbs up. If you loved it, you can subscribe below. If you really loved it, you can go to patreon.com slash Curtis McHale, where you can support the channel to help awesome stuff come. Yeah, so you can see it. Have an excellent day.